for some people to say no to Satan. Everything that God made, He made them to be living and not living, man and woman, up and down, big and small. Black and white. Yes and no. Every word you speak comes from the two words. It's either you are saying no or you say yes. People always say it is easier said than done. Every one of us can say it but doing it is the question. Every one of us is happy. Jesus has crossed us over to two top turn and a ding. And during the crossover service, a man said, As from today, I will no longer smoke. A man said, As from today, I will no longer womanize. Another person may say, as from today, I will alcohol. Somebody else might say, as from today, I will continue to worship the Lord by money devotion. Someone else may come to say, my resolution for this year is that I will evangelize. Somebody else might say, the preaching of the prophet touches me as from today, I will become a giver. Somebody may resolve. Somebody may say, as from today, in 2018, I will be a good servant of the Lord God Almighty. It is easier said than done. And the Lord put it on my heart and said, my son, during the cross of our service, my children had so many resolutions. They made so many decisions. Go and tell them. Can they say no to Satan? When Satan will come to tempt your decisions, can you say no? is your decision you that says I will no longer unzip my zip my madika be quiet as from today I know you say you don't always erase but I told I make a decision I will ask you to quiet if you see where they go make a test can you say no You say no to, to Satan when he comes. Jesus know that to say no is the issue. And he said, every decision you have made in this 2018, be firm with it. Say yes or no. Don't say yes in the morning and say no in the afternoon. say no afternoon and in the evening don't say yes let your nay be nay and your yay be yay Matthew 5 37 book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 37 I'm reading from NIV simply let your yes be yes simply let your yes be yes and your no no and your no be no anything beyond this is come from the evil one anything beside these two decisions comes from the evil one pause there hey let your no be no and let your yes be yes in this 2018 if you have made a resolution before 
that you will be fervent in God, continue in it, and don't say no. If you have said anything before, you have made any decision before to serve God Almighty, remain calm, say no. If your answer is no, don't say yes in the morning and say no in the afternoon. So many persons, they say yes in the morning, but when they are faced with a circumstance, hello, yes, who is this? Is it a hey, uh, Please, can we see? No, 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 we're not to see again. Uh, why now? I have decided to give my life to Christ. You make that call in the morning at that seven o'clock. When you make that call, hungry never come. Now I make you tell say, I don't give my life to Christ. Around eight o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock, twelve o'clock, the woman, the body will give you some signs. And usually, when you go to the hotel room, that is where the money comes from. And you now sit in between the decisions. See your belly and see the room. Can I still stay? No. The time is 12 o'clock. The phone will ring again. Greenini, greenini. Hello, who is this? H bro. Please, can you see me? Um. No, no, I, I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. Why? I have given my life to Christ. Brethren, the first answer in the morning and the second answer, is it the same thing? Say no to Satan is the duty of mankind. Many of us, we can say yes in the morning, but what about in the afternoon and in the evening? Now that you say yes, don't love those who could not say no because they never die. As I am not preaching here, I cannot say every other people are not children of God. No, because they never die. Now that you are eating, don't love those who have no food because they never die. You are walking now. You are having cars. You are staying in a good house. Don't rejoice because they never die. When you say yes in the morning, don't love those who could not say yes because they never duck. James chapter 4 verse 7 the book of James chapter 4 verse 7 yes submit yourself then to God pause as I am preaching now some are saying how can I really say no to the end last year 2017 I made a decision but it could not last I only stay in the month of January. A month of February, I fell into the same thing. How can it last? And the Lord put it to me, told my children that the only solution to that is submit yourself to God. Yes. Resist the devil. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Then he will flee from you. Submit yourself to God Almighty. The second thing, resist the devil. And then, he will flee from you. It is our master Jesus that said this. And you know, those who cook food, have the taste of it first. When Jesus
Jesus said this. He practically demonstrated what he was saying. Jesus is not that bad master who could not say what is what do what he says. So when he says submit yourself to God, resist him. He made what he said, and Jesus did it as an example unto every one of us. Is it really true? Yes, it is true. He did it. chapter 4, verse 3 to 11. The book of Matthew chapter 4, verse 3 to 11. Yes. Verse 3. Verse 3. The tempter came to him and said, Satan came to Jesus and told him, If you are the son of God, ah, if you are really the son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Turn these stones to become bread. Verse 4. Verse 4. Jesus answered. And Jesus answered. It is written, man does not live on bread alone. It is written, man should not live by bread alone. But on every word that comes from the mouth of God. That is submission. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is submission. Say submission. Say submission. Please don't be afraid. I give you the time. Say submission. Say sister. Say sister. Brother. Submit to God Almighty. At all times. To inherit the kingdom. Yes. Verse 5. Verse 5. Then the devil took him to the holy city. Another time, the devil took Jesus to the holy city. And had him stand on the highest point. And of the made him to stand in the highest point there. The highest point Jesus stood means a position that was given to you. You are a man in your house. It's the highest mountain. You are a head of a community. It's the highest mountain. You are a chairman of a local government. It's the highest mountain. A president of your country. You are in the highest mountain. A pastor in a church. You are in the highest mountain. Hey, you are a manager in your company. That is your highest mountain. Can you just put something in between what I'm saying? Jesus was made and Satan carried him to the highest mountain. Verse 6. If you are the son of God, he said, if you really, you decide in 2018 that I will not smoke again, I will not join court, I will not be a bad woman, I will not be a bad man, if you make a resolution, if you make a resolution, when you get to the highest peak, can you say no? Yes. Verse 6. Verse if 6. If you are the son of God. If you are the son of God. He said. He said. Throw yourself down for it is written. Throw yourself down because it is written. He will command his angel concerning you. They command the angel concerning you. And he will lift you up in your hands. The angel will lift you up with your hands. So that you will not strike your feet against a stone. Verse 7. Verse 7. Jesus answered him. Jesus answered Satan. It is also written. It is also written. Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Don't put your God to the test. Verse 8. Verse 8. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world. Praise the Lord. And their splendor. Again, Satan carried him. It means Satan will not tempt you only one time and go. Verse 9. Verse 9. All this I will give you. Satan told Jesus, all this I will give you. He said, please listen, I want you to take note of this verse. The Lord is taking us to somewhere. Repeat that verse number again. Number what? Verse 9. Verse number 9. All this I will give you. All, all. Everyone say all. Say all. Say all. Say all things. Say all things. Say all things. Yes. He said, he said, if you will bow down and worship me, Verse 10. Verse 10. Jesus said to him. Jesus told him. Away from me, Satan. Go away from me, Satan. For it is written. For it is written. Worship the Lord your God. 
Worship the Lord your God. When Satan hear this last one, yes, what happened? Read your message and serve him only. Yes. Verse 11, the last. Verse 11, the last verse. Then the devil left him. Oh, I am glad. Then, then the devil did what? Then the devil did what? Then the devil did what? Devil left him. This stone becomes bread. loves you, throw yourself down. His angels will lift you up in their hands. How dare you put God to the test? If you will bow down and worship me, I will give you the whole world. Crucify him! Holy! 